Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be involved with football, um, if it's in an administrative capacity or um, whether it's just uh, a business world, but I'm certainly uh, keeping an eye on the future and I want to make sure that uh, when I do leave football, whether that be in a couple of years or in 10 years' time, um, that I am comfortable and can um, trans transfer into you know, life after footy comfortably. So that would be the goal. I really like Rory Laird as a, as a footballer from the Adelaide Crows as well. Um, he just plays his role every week and I think he's uh, the sort of player that you'd enjoy to play with every week. Just remember a lot of defensive efforts and playing consistent quarters. Um, you know, I'll start well and then, then drift out of the game, um, but just being more consistent in, in defensive and, and um, running both ways, which was my main focus. And, um, you know, I went back to the VFL and, and did that, and now um, you know, Brad's got, gave me an opportunity this year, and I, I've taken it. Yeah, he's, he's been a massive influence in my, my career. Um, he comes to most games, and we always talk, talk footy flat out. Um, as a junior, um, you know, he, he, he taught me the right way and, and things to eat properly. Um, so with, with his work, he's been a personal trainer, so just, just constantly, little things like that um, always helped me out, always looked to him for advice. And even now, you know, he'll be one of the most professionals, probably local footy that, that I know. And, um, you know, I still learn a lot from him now, even though I'm playing higher footy than him. So we've got six weeks and i um, going to you know, put the feet up for the first few weeks and really just get my body right. Obviously, I've you know, never played this much footy in my life as, as such, just as a high level too. Um, so yeah, like you know, my body's feeling a little bit sore and, and sorry now. Um, so the first few weeks I'll just I'll just kick the feet up and then I'll get going to Hawaii um, for, for 10 days and then when I get back there, um, it'll be business again and we'll be trying to get fit and put on a bit more weight. My, my third year, so I didn't really grow up sort of playing against them too much in the, in the TAC Cups and that. Um, that was sort, sort of last year and the year before, but um, obviously played on you know, um, a lot of these plays you know, during the year. Um, like the hills and, and stuff like that, so no, it's good to, good to catch up with them and you know, sort of talk a, away from foot on the footy field. Got the uh, Rising Star nomination round 19, and um, yeah, massive honour to, to get it. Um, obviously, it's a big privilege to be put in the calibre of some of these players that are here today and also got nominated. Yeah, well, I sort of did like. I was kicking rugby, but I was more rugby at, when I was a bit younger, um, probably at the age of eight, seven or eight, some, around, that, around that age group, and then um, got into basketball, but yeah, didn't really get serious about football until I was about 12 or 13, so yeah, I got into, started getting a bit serious a bit later in life. Well, as soon as I got to the club, he's been my number one supporter. Um, he's the reason why. He's the person who gave me my first game against the Gold Coast in round six, so pretty much owe, owe everything to him. That's he's probably the reason why I've had a big year this year. Obviously, I've played 11 games this year, so I'm just hoping to have a really good pre-season and uh, for it not to be interrupted with injury or being sick or anything like that. So, yeah, probably just to get through pre-season, uh, have another good year next year.